What is going on guys? This is Aaron or Spade. Update regarding the E39. We did get the wide body over fenders in a few days ago. It didn't come with everything that I was told it was going to come with. I've contacted MF Customs on Instagram, but he hasn't messaged me back. So it's probably going to be one of those situations where I don't get it. It did get damaged in shipment as well, but only a couple of small pieces. One of them I actually think happened in shipment. One I think happened during the mold. Again, two very small issues on there. Can easily be fixed by a body guy. Okay guys, so this is the kit laid out. Front driver fender, front passenger fender, back passenger, back driver. And it looks like the only damage that was incurred. This is front passenger right at the tip, front driver right at the tip. So just a little chip there. And it looks like to be a little kind of chip there. Now, in regards to what I'm doing with the kit, originally I got the kit to do a YouTube install. I was going to do hardware mounted. I was going to do a whole series of wide bodying the E39 because in my head, I was like, I can do this. It'd make good content and it would get good views, which I still believe that to be the case. But after test mounting and test fitting the kit, mocking it up, I really feel like it would be better looking molded because I want that clean body line. I saw, or I actually have, uh, pictures of two different cars or three different cars. Actually, one is MF customs car, which has it molded and it looks beautiful. And then two other cars that have it hardware mounted and the hardware mounted looks okay it's aggressive looking which is what i like for my car like i like my car to look a little bit aggressive compared to other e39s you'll see i am out there with my e39 build i don't i don't have a haman h style lip on my car i don't have typical mesh wheels or anything like that i i purposely do things to my car to make it stand out compared to other people I'm even looking at custom headlights as well. I'll put pictures of those in here. But as a whole, I talked to my body guy and got a price. The price is not cool. So just a heads up, this is going to be one of those situations where we don't see the car for a little bit. I'm going to drop it off to my paint guy and he's going to handle everything. Then I'm going to get it back and then we'll do like a before and after style video. But what we're doing when I drop off the car, and again, this isn't happening for a while, but when I drop off the car, what's going to be happening is we're repainting the front bumper. Cause as a lot of, you know, that watch these videos, paint bumpers or paint bumper, the front bumper is really uh, rock chipped really bad. So we're going to repaint that and get it back to looking new again. And then I'm actually going to clear brawl the front bumper, but with some expel clear film on it. We're going to paint match and mold the over fenders, the kit to the body line. So it's going to have no seams. It's just going to look like it's part of the body. We're going to paint match my mirrors because my mirrors have, have never been painted. They came on the car, just that raw ABS plastic, super sun damaged. Uh, so we're finally going to paint match those orient blue to match the car. We're going to re clear the trunk, the carbon trunk, since the whole top side of the deck is majorly sun damaged. So we're going to sand and re-clear the top of the carbon fiber trunk. The back side is actually really in good shape, but he might go ahead and do that anyway. So it's not paint enamel or epoxy, you know, so he'll probably paint the whole thing. And then we will be doing uh, oh, uh, paint matching the rear bumper. Cause what a lot of you don't seem to catch, which is really funny. There's even a uh, post angles of the butt of the car all the time. The rear bumper is actually carbon black 
the car itself is orient blue. So we're going to paint match the rear bumper to orient blue. And on the driver's side of the bumper, the rear bumper, uh, a while back, my car had to be towed when both rear tires blew out and the tow truck had no regard for how low my car was and it was a flatbed. I told him, I was like, Hey man, can you, can you actually get this car up on your truck? He's like, yeah, man, no problem. Uh, and he actually ripped my tabs off my bumper. So I, I had to kind of makeshift it to work. Uh, and when he broke the tabs, he actually broke just a little fucking corner on the back bumper. So it has like a little notch in it. So we're going to have to makeshift something there. Cause I'm not paying 500 bucks. Well, actually, I think it's more, I think on eBay, even they're probably six to seven hundred dollars for a, a rear film sport bumper. Whereas I'm just missing a corner. It's like, I'll just, we'll figure something out. Even if it's cutting and shaping plastic to fit that. And then he'll mold that into the bumper too. But that's the plan. And all that's going to be money. <laughs> like if I just wanted to mold the kit, paint match the kit or, you know, mold the kit on and paint it. And we're looking at around 400 bucks a panel. So we're around 1600 give or take. Uh, but with what I'm throwing on there, because I just kind of want the car to be finished paint body wise, there's still going to be little dings that need to be taken care of with a PDR guy. But with everything that I'm throwing at him to have done too, uh, just to kind of get the car finished, we're looking closer to three, closer to 3000. It'll be a little bit before I can do that, but I'll keep you updated. I am interested to see how long it takes because I want to see this finished just as much as the rest of you, because this kit finished with my car and everything I have on it, like the hood, everything I think will look amazing, especially once we get the custom headlights into that's going to be sick. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.